Hey, how are you doing? Sorry, I just noticed that that's a hot mess up there. It's Amy Green with Amy and Art Designs. I'm so happy to be here with you today. We are going to make a door hanger for the second time today for some of you. Um, I posted a like picture of an SVG I was working on um, the other day because I realized I did not have... A door hanger. I sold all my door hangers for new for um Fourth of July, and I was like, you know what? I am gonna have a door hanger for Fourth of July. So, hey Amy, how are you? How are you doing? Hey Tammy. Hey Janet. So yeah, I thought I was good. I thought I'd come on here and I'll make this door hanger. You guys like the SVG? Um, it's actually one that I downloaded directly from Creative Fabrica. So I have a special thing with them right now where y'all can get, if, if you do SVG files, um, meaning like if you use a Cricut or a Silhouette or a laser or some other machine that cuts files, I have a link in the description where you guys can get 10 files for free. And then, um, so you can get 10, 10 files for free and then you need to click that one first. And then I show you exactly where to get this file. If you want to make this. So, Ooh, thank you. Kim C. I'm going to put your name in the jar here in just a minute. Thank you for the sprinkles already. Love it. So yeah, if, if that's something, if you've got a Cricut, I use, um, creative Fabrica all the time for my printables for, um, SVG files, um, fonts, a lot of great fonts. All of my single line fonts, I get there, Missy Meyer fonts. So come on in, say hi. I see a lot of y'all are saying hi. Let us know if you're new here so we can give you a good, big welcome. And we are going to make a really cute door hanger. Um, but make sure that you grab, if you guys do use a cutting machine, grab that, get 10 free files. I um, started out with Creative Fabrica just like like downloading here and there. And then um, I was on a monthly membership for a while, like, and then I moved over and I just, I pay yearly and I love them. So let me say hi to everybody and we'll get started. Let's see. Hey, Amy H. So I was Amy H before I got married. I was Amy Hawk. And so Amy and I were sitting across from each other at the mastermind. She's in my business group. And they had Amy H. And I'm trying to look at that. I think that was my name tag for a minute. I'm not, not really a hawk anymore. I'm definitely a green. Hey, Janet. Hey, Tammy. Hey, Kim. Jessica. Hey, Jessica. Hey, Sarah. Good to see you guys. Hey, Chris. Kim C. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Kim H. Janice. We got some Georgia. Love Georgia. Oh, thank you, Brenda. And Jessica, thank you guys. I'm going to drop your name in the jar. I don't know if I'm going to get my little one. So we've got, um, I'll, sh I'll add my overhead camera in just a second. But yeah, we're going to um, gonna make us a door hanger. So how many of you guys have made, a, you guys have been asking me, and I know this is for the fourth. It's not super timely, but I just realized that I'd sold my patriotic home sweet home this week. And so let me add my camera. Here we go. So, um, all right, I'm just getting the paper off, but how many of y'all, oh, Jessica's in Massachusetts. Awesome. Eventually I learn where everyone is. So how many of y'all have made a door hanger before? You guys have been asking for more for door hangers. Um, maybe not necessarily you guys who are brand new to tier trays, but some of you guys who've made some tier trays before. Um, and maybe some of you guys who haven't, but a lot of you guys who like to DIY would rather get a kit and paint it yourself than buy it finished, right? The frugal nature of crafters. So um, I... I think that they're pretty easy to make. I think that the trickiest part, honestly, is the layout and the bow. Kim, yes, Kim Carroll says she has made several door hangers, which I'm sure she has. Um, 
she's crafty. I, do you, Kim, do you make the round ones or do you make, oh, hey, look. Hey, Devana, welcome. So glad you're here. So glad you're here. Welcome, welcome. We're making a door hanger. Um, thank you, Chris, for the sprinkles. I'm gonna drop you in. Thank you, thank you. So you've made a few. Awesome, awesome. What kind of door hangers do y'all like to make? Hey, Kim, tell me if you make round, if you paint the designs. What do y'all do? Um, I typically, once my big laser is fully functioning, we're almost there. Um, I'll probably do some different shapes, but mostly I've done round. Round and cut out ones, and you can talk your husband into cutting them. Oh, thank you, Devana. Um, hey, Angel. So, yeah, I don't have a jigsaw. Um, so I get my rounds in bulk. I buy them in bulk, especially when I was making a lot of them. I buy them in bulk. Thank you. And, um, then I would just make them like that. And I would have to buy like enough at a time, right? But I'm going to be able to cut my own soon. So I'm really excited about that. If you download this file from Creative Fabrica and you don't know how to weld a font. So it's I'm going to do a quick tutorial and put it on my YouTube channel. Because this sometimes the files are like this and sometimes they aren't. So... When you have like a cursive font and you're typing a cursive font. Hey, Anita. Thank you. Put your name in the jar. Thank you. Thank you. So when you, um, oh, thank you, Kim. So when you have a cursive font, what happens is it overlaps. And each letter has a, an, a beginning and an end point. And so it makes this like, if you don't weld the font or create a, uh, a path, then the font won't cut and hold together as one piece. It'll cut like the F and where the F stops, it will, it will make a little cut like this. And where the R stops, it'll make a cut. And so you have to weld the font together. And there's one way to do it in Silhouette um, Studio. There's another way to do it in Adobe. It's easy to look at it and tell if it's been welded or not. So that's not hard. Um, but what's, you just have to know how to do it. And so I'll show you all how to do that. And once you know how to weld fonts, like you're on your way to like doing all kinds of crazy stuff with, um, shapes and everything in those design softwares. I'm not going to teach you that tonight. We're going to paint, but we are going to, so I have, I have ring and I have freedom and I've let, and I have three stars. I'm thinking freedom needs to be red. And then I think that Ring and let need to be blue, navy blue. And then the stars, I don't know. We'll just do a hot podge, like two red and one blue or vice versa. All right. Awesome. Thank you guys for the sprinkles. I'm going to grab you all in just a second and then get started with this. Yay. Thank you guys. I'm going to get all these names real quick. So we have Gail, Tammy C or Tammy Royer. Denise V. Hi, Tammy S. So, yeah. Um, and I'm going to use the same colors that I used, the same red and blue that I used on our tray when we did it in the Joyful Crafting Club, just because it'll all coordinate that way. Thank you, Kim H., for the sprinkles. Y'all are blowing things up tonight. This is great. Um... All right. Okay, so I'm going to start with red. My plates. Here we go. 
So what what do you guys? Does anyone have plans this weekend for the holiday? So these are okay. Painting these door hangers that that I'm doing right now. It's really similar to how. Um, I'm just getting my these to how you would paint a um, tear tray because they're just wood cutouts, right? All we're going to do differently is we're going to, it's going to be a little bigger and we're going to be um, gluing it on a bigger sign. Same, same concept completely, right? So it just takes a little more paint. So Chris K is, oh, Chris K Keltner's crafting with a friend this weekend. Ooh, that sounds fun. Sounds like a lot of fun, ladies. I love it. I need a local friend to craft with. Oh, thank you, Gail. Yay. Is this something new that's popping up? Can someone tell me, like, I appreciate it so much. I've never seen that before. Is Do they, like, is it, do they ask you to, like, rate us now? Um. Okay, Gail, why are you not a fan? Do you have too much paint on it? If you have too much paint, you're going to have a sloppy mess. I just use a tiny bit, and I don't, can you see, like, I'm dabbing it off? Because you're going to have a mess on your hands. Um, so the reason I like the sponges for these wood cutouts, um, is because... One, they're really hard to make look good with a paintbrush. I mean, because, and your paintbrush gets stuck in the cracks. It takes longer. You're constantly lifting up at the edges so that you don't slop all over the place. And with this, it's relatively quick um, to get them covered. And you just have to keep going at it if you have too much paint it's it's going to look really bad i mean that's true with a brush also um if i'm doing these in bulk like in mass a lot of times what i do is i will paint the boards before they go in the laser um and then you just peel the tape and touch them up which that is a different process, right? Because if you, if you want to make the door hanger first, you have to paint all the boards, let them dry and then get them through the laser. It is quicker if you're doing a ton. If you're only doing a couple, it's relatively um, cumbersome because then you have boards, like all of this I cut out of one board. Well, if you're going to do different colors, you have to have a different color for each board, if that makes sense. It's kind of like, um, it's really not like cutting on a Cricut, but I guess it's like you don't want to cut all the same thing out of the same color unless you want it to look like that, right? But make sure that if you, if you do use um, SVG files, go try out Creative Fabrica, guys, because I love it. They reached out to me and said, hey, would you want to um, give your your people like 10 free files? And I said, yeah, but they look like that. Like my my silhouette and Cricut users and my, some of y'all use a laser. Some of you guys have said you've got smaller lasers, hobby lasers. Um, and fonts are so expensive. I feel like fonts are one of the most expensive pieces. And their fonts are so great. Um, Missy Meyer, I don't know if you guys are familiar with her as a font designer. She's on there. Look, I love all of her fonts. So Tammy says she doesn't have a rating option. Tammy R. Tammy S. Thank you, Tammy, for the five-star rating. And hey, Darlene, I haven't seen you for a little bit, my friend. How are you? So, yeah. Um... Hi, Gracie. What are you doing? My dog's over there. So, I 
Here we go. So how many of y'all are up, up north, like Michigan, Ohio, uh, Indiana, Chicago, Illinois? We've been getting all that smoke from the Canada wildfires. I mean, the visibility was so bad in Columbus today. You barely see. I mean... We were, I mean, the traffic was backed up. The traffic's never backed up here. There's not enough people that live here to get it backed up unless there's a wreck, honestly. Five o'clock, it's a little thick, but it's not, it's not real traffic. Um, not if you've lived in a big city. Oh, Dana's can't get on Facebook? Girl. So I'm going to do one of these red. Okay, so Kentucky's, Kentucky's getting smoke. Sarah says they are. Yeah, Cindy says also. And Kim says, yeah, it has been really bad. I mean, it's been, they're saying in Ohio, like only to fill up your gas tank after 8 p.m. so that there's no extra fumes in the air. I mean, usually the air quality, so Teresa says she's getting it too. She's in northern Illinois. Illinois. His eyes and throat. I'm raspy, but I'm usually raspy just from allergies. It looks like we have a lot of new friends tonight. It's so fun. Pennsylvania had it two weeks ago. It's starting to come back. Yeah, it was, Tammy, it was oh, like, okay, Ohio. When I lived in Texas, like we had bad air quality all the time. It didn't matter. Like it was usually orange. Because of the the only time that it was not bad was COVID when no one was commuting. But they have so much commuting there. I mean, the commuting is insane. I'll probably need another coat of red, but I'm just going to move on to the blue. Um, and so, I, I mean, just there are so many people that commute. And even though they have... Okay, so someone was complaining last time that they couldn't see what I was doing off the screen. So... How's the view? Would you guys rather have this view where you have more screen? Tell me. Because before you guys were like, no, we want to be able to see your face. Look, well, it looks just my, I don't really have any. Look, there's nothing there. It's just skin. But um, let me know what you prefer as a view. One, two, or three. Pretend like you're at the eye doctor. Which Which one looks better to you one two or three um yes someone was complaining because they said that they couldn't see what i was doing like off the screen and i was like well it's just paint i'm just getting my paint three one two three this is three just got voted for three i don't ever really love the whole process when they ask me that at the doctor anyway because i'm like I'm like, I don't know. Like, they all look about the same to me. I'll try and do vertical. Maybe that'll make it a little easier. There's an eye. We have some people that like one. Mostly threes tonight. Hi, Amelia. Um. Yeah, the, the quality, the air quality. I'll tell you what. Look at this. Look at my jankiness up here. Okay. Let's see, I'm going to turn this a little sideways. Maybe I'll put the paint over here. We'll get it worked out. Um. So, I don't know if you guys caught earlier. I was just showing some stuff that I found at Hobby Lobby over the weekend. And, um... And I was talking about, you know, I was been talking about decorating and the pool and all of the things. And so I told y'all, I'm convinced I'm going to figure it out. And I checked out all of these. I don't know about you guys, but look, the internet is great. Okay, people are freaking. The internet is great, but I'm still old fashioned. I like to get me a good book. Yay. Thank you, Dana. Yay. I like to get me a book, a good book with, um, 
and I like to look at the pictures and I like to read what they say about it offline. And maybe it's because I work online, but and Pinterest is great. Like, don't I'm not knock on Pinterest at all. But I do like okay, this is paint. I'm gonna put paint on my plate. Um, but I do like a good book. So I found these books about like decorating salvage style. And not that I could do everything that way. So I'm going to use a smaller sponge because we're going to do some smaller pieces. And this is just navy. But, um, but do any of y'all like to go flea marketing or, um, garage sailing and that if you've, you can find the right garage sale for sure. Um, yard sale. You can find the right thing. But like taking stuff and re remaking it. Because I, I'm going to start looking around and see what I can come up with. And I'll show you guys the ribbon I've got in mind. I already put one coat on the big round. Um, because that white paint usually needs a couple coats. We were at 287. I didn't look what number we were at, Gail, um, on our... So uh, this is just paint. It's just paint. I'm just dipping in my paint. They were really upset about too, whoever it was. Um, but yeah. I didn't look at the number, but I've never seen. We've been here for a little over two years. And it's the air is usually amazing. I mean, it just you, it, it, Ohio is like, you know, we're up by the lake. You know, there's a lot of lakes, a lot of trees. So here, Chris says she likes to find things at thrift stores or garage sales to repurpose, but she doesn't go that often. Um, there's a thrift store by the Kroger, like north of here. And I pop in there once in a while, usually when I'm by myself because going with the kids is hectic. But um, I found some good stuff there. seem to what sponges do you have because my painting with the sponges comes out super smooth no brush marks no um where did you get them are they like makeup sponges you've never seen it this bad yeah um me i mean it's I'm hoping they get those fires under control. I mean, I know like part of it they're saying is like, is, you know, that's part of the process, right? Because then it is super fertile and blah, blah, blah. But I hope they get it under control because that's a, that's a lot. It's a lot. Gail says she's afraid to go to a thrift store. She might buy too much. Um, so, okay, this is kind of where I've gotten with, honestly, most things. Even the Dollar Treat. The Dollar Treat. Um, I don't buy it unless I have a purpose in mind for it. Like, or I'm so in love with it that I can't leave it there. Because it is easy to go into places like that. And you wind up with all this stuff. And you, you know what I mean? And then you're like, what, what am I going to do with all this? What am I going to do with all this junk? Right? I mean, that's what I think to myself after I get home. I'm like, what am I going to do with all this junk? Um, but when I have a, an idea in mind while I'm there, then I feel better buying it. So, so like a lot of times when I'm, I, when I, when I found those end tables, I was like, you know, I need these for our basement and for $5 a piece, they're going to look fabulous once. I mean, they, they're adorable. Now the bones are amazing. Just don't like the colors. Once I repaint them, they're going to look fabulous. Um, Chris, I am seldom without my kids. I, okay. This is a fact. 
Joe and I will have been married 15 years in October. And we have never had one night together, just me and him without the kids in 15 years. And that is the life of a parent who has a kid with special needs. That is just it. And people are like, get a babysitter. You know what? Unless you have a family member that can manage the things that can come up. Um, even when Nate was in the hospital overnight because he had surgery and they had to drill into his skull, they had to like test his intracranial pressure. Um, Joe's sister flew in to stay with the kids, but Joe went home at night and I stayed there by myself with Nate all night long, which, you know, I wanted him to go home and help and get a good night's sleep and come back. Um, so, I mean, but that is a life if you've got a kiddo with special needs is, is, you just learn how to do life with your kids. You know, I could take one of them by themselves. Okay. Hey, Tammy W. Yeah, it is. And you know what? You just, you learn how to do life with them. You learn how to incorporate them. I mean, we had a whole thing today because we went to the library and we got all these great books and some movies and they were having fun while Nate got a movie that he really wanted to watch. And I have a DVD player in my car and Joe does not. And Joe was supposed to take him to his next thing. And then he did not want to go because he had to watch his movie. And we got stuck on that for a while. And so we had to come up with plan B. <laughs> and it just is. It is. And so I get it. And I think sometimes um, if you don't live that life, like you don't understand. And um and there just has never been anyone to, to keep. I think if both of Joe's sisters came in for the night, Joe and I could probably leave for one night. But they both live out, other, out of state. You know what I mean? When you were younger, you went everywhere. And, yeah, I know. And sometimes you're just like, oh, I know. Well, that's one of the things is, um, you know, it's just even going out to dinner, just me and Joe is an ordeal because finding someone who can stay with the kids and like manage whatever can come up. It's just, it's hard, you know, it's hard. We thought it would be different, like having family around in Ohio, but it's not, it's not, you know. And I don't, I'm not complaining at all, y'all. I am grateful and I love, I love the heck out of my kids. We have a great life. It's just, it's just different than if you have kids that, that don't. So, oh, Timmy, you're out to dinner, girl. What are you eating? I hope it's something good. Look at this, guys. Do you see this? I burnt that. I burnt my arm on a live. I was on a live. I didn't even meant, I bent over this way and lean down and my craft iron was on and it burnt my arm look at that i mean i didn't scream or no one even knew i was like jennifer said she couldn't even tell that i was in pain and so it was like another 40 minutes before i finished the live and could get off and put some medicine on it girl that was just that was silly i should uh, i should have been like hold on i gotta go get me some lavender um Gail says the crafty DIYer can take a junk and make it look beautiful. Yes, she can. I love Denise. Denise is awesome. Denise just has this like way about her. Um, that she can take something Nothing and turn it into something. I, I just, she can see things that you can't see, right? Okay. Yes. Yeah. So Chris, she says she's so happy that she has her son because she, you've met the most amazing friends. So you do. There's like a, a deep, um, there's, there's a lot of grieving, right? Because you go through these stages when you realize like they're not able to do what, other kids can do but there's also this amazing joy that like they do something and you're like yes yes 
you know, and you're like, I knew you could do it, you know, and whereas maybe someone else was like, they'll never be able to blah, blah, blah. And um, there's this amazing joy. And the, the other thing is you have this bond, right? You have friends that will show up. We have some friends like that in Ohio. Like we know, like there have been things where we just couldn't participate. We're like, look, we can't come. And they've got kids too. And they're like, yeah, that's okay. You know what? They love us. There's no judgment. They're not angry with us. They understand. Like we're not being, it's just like, look, it just right now we got all we can handle. You know, look how good this looks. It's the only thing about these big signs. I might have to change it. It looks really cute. You know, like you have this instant bond that you just, you can't get with anyone else. All right. And here we go. Okay. This is the round. It's kind of big for the screen. Let me see if I can put this a little. Let me see if I can lift up a little bit. I got my fancy <laughs> nod camera over here. Mm. But Nate, he started Scouts, and um, he was so excited when he came home today. He's almost he's, he he got his Scout rank, and he's almost at first class. And he just started. Like he loves he loves Scouts. So I've already got one coat on this. You can tell I'm gonna put another coat on, and then I'm gonna sand it. And this is the um, Hello Hobby white chalk paint, but you could use any paint, right? You could use any paint. You know what I'm craving is a salad from Culver's. Has anyone been to Culver's lately? This is just a sponge brush. That strawberry field salad that they have is so good. I That, and you know what? The chicken's hot. When you go to pick it up, so a lot of times you, you'll go to like a restaurant that's kind of Culver's style meaning like you know it's more of a quick service type restaurant and you order the salad i'm just talking on and on about culver so if you all get something else to talk about you can just chime in but you know you go and you get get the food and they've got they pull out like a salad that they made yesterday or earlier in the day and they put the chickens cold and you know that it's been in the fridge or whatever when you go to culver that chicken on the salad it's hot and you know that they just pull that off the grill and it tastes amazing. So this is a shiplap round, y'all. And it is 18 inches. And it depends what kind of look you want to go for. If you want like a super perfect white look, you'll probably need like a really good two to three coats. Yeah, I love Culver's. Yeah, we're going to get the boxes finished up and work on this space down here this weekend. Because it's a disaster. Like my crafting space. Did y'all see the, all of those, um, those containers I got from the container store? I love the container store. And I love the container store bins. Mm. Tammy, you said the closest one's 25 minutes away. Yeah. I don't know. I... I, um... We could literally ride our bikes. 
because there's a, like a road that cuts like through. Anyway, our neighborhood connects to another neighborhood that has a road that comes right out by Culver's. All back streets. And we could totally ride our bikes up there. But I take my kids, it costs me 50 bucks because they eat like... I've never seen... I mean, Nate, I ordered my oldest dinner there the other day. It was $13. He's 11. Oh, Dana got her Facebook working. Okay. Yeah, fresh. I mean, you want your food to be good and fresh. Okay. So... After this dries, I'm going to sand it. I think the two coats is going to be good. Um, I'm not too... I'm going to get my heat gun here in a minute. I'm going to sit over here. Um, I'll sand it a little bit. I'm going to wrap my baby wipe around it to keep it... Keep my brush wet in case I need it. And I'm going to work on the letters. And then we're going to come back. Oops, I missed this right here. Um, so who saw the Jingle and Mingle event? Did anybody see the Jingle and Mingle event? I've seen some of y'all's names pop up in there. It's Jingle and Mingle. I We keep saying it wrong. Like some of us are like Mingle and Mingle. Some of us are... It's Jingle and Mingle. Who's seen it? If you haven't seen it... I'm going to send my email out soon. It's going to be so fun. Um, I'm going to do snowman shelf sitters. Um, let me make sure my glue gun's on. There we go. I'm going to do um, snowman shelf sitters. And then I'll have a kit soon if you want to do it they're super cute I had they were if you were around last Christmas I used did them last Christmas a lot of people gave them as gifts they would make because it comes in a set of three and they'd make three and then they give them as gifts I'm just doing what we do with, this is the same thing that we do with our tear trays, ladies. It's the same old thing, same old thing. Oh, Gail, girl, um, don't worry. This is you, it's a free event. Some people want to come and watch and they don't, they don't want the kids. Some people only want to come and watch one thing. Some people want to come and watch all the things. Um, you know, it's some people want to craft everything that everyone makes. It's just totally for fun to hang out, to meet new people. Um, no one is obligated to anything. Um, we just want you to just hang out and have fun. Um, Yes, Dana Taylor says she's a lot of snowman for her Christmas. Yes. And we I never expected anyone to purchase anything. You know what? If you want it, great. And if you just want to hang out, girl, that makes me happy too. Um, if we didn't offer kids, some people would be very frustrated with us. Um, because they like to, you know, they like to some people are like, oh, I want to make that, you know. So um Dana Taylor, we have a lot of snowmen too. I think I had you up there. Yeah, we we do too. We love snowmen. And I love snowmen. Here's why I love in this particular set of snowmen cuz they don't they look wintry, not Christmassy, and so you can put them out at Christmas and and then they can continue through January until you put up your um until you put up your what is it called? Valentine's Day. I, you know what? I don't know. I have not heard anything, so I'm guessing no. I don't. I haven't heard anything at all about that. I don't know. 
I know that she's doing a ton of camps. Um, but I don't know about that. I need a tack cloth. Just one shape. It's right over here. Oh, I always forget the tack cloth. I'm just going to bring a big old tack cloth over this way. Um, art camp was fun. And you know what I loved about art camp was they got a bunch of different people together. Uh, like different artists. Jen um, from Canvas Design Designs and I have been talking about doing something where, you know, we get some people together for, for regular um, sharing. Like some just some different... Just some different creative collabs, you know, because you guys seem to really enjoy when she and I get together in crafts. So we thought, well, what if, what if we had like some different, like Jen does hand lettering and painted signs, right? And I do wood cutouts. And then like Denise from the, she does something different. Let's got my hands. Um, just people who like do different things so that you could, and kind of just organize it so that you guys knew when we would be doing it and share that out because I feel like, you know, it'd be a lot of fun. You know, just something kind of regular where you can expect, oh, hey, this is that lady that does all of those cool primitive, you know, if you like primitive crafting or if you like, you know, wood cutouts or I'm trying to think of something else. You like quilting or whatever the different art forms are or even if you're just like hey I want to learn something new you know and just so that it's organized so you're like hey this is when such and so and this is such and so and it's all you know good quality in the sense that you know you're getting exposed to a lot of things but you're also getting to learn new things yeah we've been talking about it we talked about it before she went on her Arkansas trip my dad used to call it Arkansas. I know I love snowmen at Christmas. Joe and I, um, we all add a snowman ornament to our tree every year. It's just our thing. This is not working well. So with these dark colored paints, you guys, you just want to go one direction. Generally, when you're sanding wood, you just want to go one direction. So you can decide if you want to leave it dark, but I like the more farmhousey look. So I know you kind of talked about this before. I'm totally done another. What are some other stuff that that y'all like? Um, oh, hey, we have a we have a friend, a new friend. Hey, Sonia, glad you're here. We're making a door hanger. So glad you popped in and said hi. I love it. I think a lot of people like pop on and they lurk, and they don't say what you know how long they don't say hi. They just kind of watch. But I love when we get people that say, hey, it's my first time here. Because I love to be able to see your names. But I'm a lurker. <laughs> yeah. So, I think, too, um, just like being inspired by other people. And then, you know, maybe once in a while people can do things together. And bye, Devonna. We hope everything's okay. I hope, I hope it's an important phone call in a good way. Um, so Joe always gets nervous. Gail, that I'm going to bring something else home. Like the first year we moved here, I found a 12-foot Christmas tree that was secondhand pre-lit it's gorgeous for 200 bucks and so i bought it and sent him to pick it up and when he got there he was like if i give you 400 dollars, will you keep it 
They did not keep it. But he did try to pay them to keep it. <laughs> so I'm just cleaning these letters up. So yeah, it's so funny. He just did not want the big tree. It does take up a lot of storage space. But it's gorgeous because when you walk in our house, we have like a um, open staircase and it goes up two stories. And so like the Christmas tree looks perfect right there. The new one, even though he tried to pawn it off. I think he really would have given her $400 to keep it. Mm. All right, let's see where we are with this. We'll see how well this sands. It might not be like dry enough to sand really well, but we're going to go for it anyway. As soon as I find my baby wipes, because my hands are a mess. Okay. Um, so is there anything you all would like to make or would like me to, to show you that week? Is that week, I haven't decided if I'm going to do it before or after, but I'm going to do some other Christmas in July type stuff. So I know some of you guys have asked for ornaments. If there's something specific, you're like, Hey, I would really, if, if you can do this, I'd really like to see it. Let me know because... Um, I would, that would help me. Sometimes I'm just like, I think I got this. I'm trying to think of what I have. I've got, I've got paint everywhere, y'all. I got paint everywhere. Um, Gail says her tree is a tree of love. All the decorations your kids got are made including your grandkids and your crafts around the tree and your grandkids help decorate so that is so sweet so i we have three trees we have a tree like that and that one goes in our family room this isn't dry enough let me get my heat gun it's not dry enough just a second I forgot to buy that one. Jen said, I had to grab this off the packing station. Um, that was really quiet. I'm going to have to ask her for that one again. So we have three. We have, so go out, I'll shout. Um, we have three. We have the 12 foot one. We have one that's just the family tree with all the stuff that the kids have made and like pictures of my dad and my grandparents that aren't with us anymore, that. And then I have a silver tree. And this silver tree, I got on clearance at Cracker Barrel one year. See, reverse canvas with those ideas, okay. Reverse canvas with like the little ones, smaller than four by six, would make really cute Christmas ornaments. You know, like the little, you know what I'm talking about? Like, I think they have smaller ones. Those would be super cute Christmas ornaments. Like with printables. Okay. Our 12 foot tree is flopped. Do you have any like hot tips for keeping that thing clean? Because, oh my gosh, the mess that that tree makes. Putting it up is, it's a lot. So usually, guys, when I have this, I just have an electric sander that I do this with. I do not do it by hand. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, pink with Barbie ornaments, Chris. She says she's got a big tree in the den. You guys have four foot trees. This is decorated with Charlie Brown and yours is pink with Barbie. Oh my gosh. A good vacuum. It's a mess. It is a mess. And you have to be really careful. I ruined a sweater the first year I put it up because that flocking got in there and it wouldn't um and it wouldn't come out. Um hey Sonia, yeah. Okay, so right now usually it was ten, it was eleven AM on Friday mornings, but the kids are home for for summer. And so now I go Friday night, about eight thirty ish. And then I'm adding in Wednesday, but I'm trying to get on by 8.45 on Wednesdays because the kids have scouts. Um, I have a block. But, yeah, that's typically. And then Saturday morning I do a um, – I usually, I, well, I have been doing it Friday mornings, but I'm going to move it to Saturday. Just like a Friday faves, like, or five faves, my five favorite things of the week. Um, just so people have, like, know where I've gotten things that they've commented on during the week or something I've really liked that I want to pass along. Um, this is making a hot mess. Um, But, yes. So, right now, Wednesday night and Friday night, and then Saturday morning. Tuesday night is in my club. A few nights a month. Yeah, I would like to have a fourth tree, but Joe keeps. He's like, please, no. I mean, I really haven't finished completely with the 12 foot tree because it just requires so much. I am sanding down here. I know you can't see me. I'm sanding. You can hear it. But it was a 12 foot tree to so many decorations. So every year I've been adding something. Really to get this to look the way I want, I need a um I need an electric sander because I'm never gonna get there by hand. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. As you guys know me well enough to know I cannot glue this down. If I'm not happy with the back, I need an electric sander. So I'm going to lay it out. I'm going to figure out how to, how to make the bow. We're going to make the bow. And then when we're done here, I'm going to sand this down. all And so that it's exactly. So I'm very finicky about how it looks on the back. It needs to be nice and smooth. Chalk paint takes more work than acrylic paint to get it flat. But um, to get it nice and smooth, it just just the nature of the paint. And so, but I don't want to ruin it and glue it down if it's if it's not the way that I want it. So, because I like the back to be nice and smooth. So here's what, this, but you have to, you cannot make the bow until you do the other parts. So we're going to do our best because this is, this is big. But we're going to lay it out and then we'll make the bow because we'll know about what size to make the bow. And then I'll put it all together and take a picture. After I sand the back. So here's freedom. So what I do when I see. Oh god that looks so good. I love the shiplap. I knew I wanted to put it on shiplap. Because it is going to see how great this looks. Yes Jessica. Yeah I also stream to YouTube. So it's over there because. It's so much easier to find the replays on YouTube than on Facebook. And so if you notice, I don't know if you've, like the emails today, I sent one out with a watermelon tray in it. And I had a link to the live with the watermelon. It really is. I just, it, 
this is why it's hard to do um So just, there we go. I'm just going to turn this. But you really need to lay your, um, your words out and know where they're going to go. Unless you've made the door hanger 13 times and you know where everything goes, right? But I have never made this one before. I just laid it out on the computer. This font is supposed to be kind of funky. Mm -hmm. So we've got C ring and freedom. And then we're going to put let up here. I love these colors too. I probably should have painted and sanded the back down before I started, but I will next time. Maybe, maybe I'll have two. I think the E is supposed to go that way. Hey, Joe Green. Don't you guys think, is the E, is there, is the E wrong? Don't you guys think that the E needs to go this way? I painted the wrong side. Maybe not. Maybe not. This is my husband. Someday we'll get him to craft with us. Okay. So the only thing about the shiplap that you really need to know is you just want to make sure when you're using a shiplap sign that whatever you're gluing to it is going to overlap and you're not ending in a dent. Because this is, I do faux shiplap signs um, where I can show you how to like make it look like you just take a regular wood round if you don't have the shiplap and then you put the shiplap signs on. Maybe I should have done, uh, I don't know. I think that that's good. Yeah. Um, okay, so this is the area we want the bow in. The long side goes on the bottom. That's what I thought. I think it needs to go like this, doesn't it? I think I painted the wrong side. It does. Crap. Okay. I preach at y'all about this all the time. I'm like, pay attention to what side you're painting. Okay. I'll paint that later. Yeah. This needs to be, this needs to be painted blue. It's not, I'm not gluing it down yet. I am. I tell you guys all the time. I'll show you the ribbon in just a second, Gail. But I'm going to paint the E so that it's right. It is a funky font. But see how this touches there? And it's, it doesn't look right. Joe's lived with me for, I don't know, he's watching now. And if he was live, he could come and tell you all some real stories about me. But, honey, when you do something, how many times do you usually have to redo it? Are you still listening? Okay, I'm going to take the E out. I'm just painting it on the side. That's all I'm doing. So if you're watching, don't get angry that you can't see it because my letters aren't glued down because we've got to, because we're not going to glue them down yet. But okay, so let me show you the ribbon I've got. But you need everything on your door hanger before you start cutting that ribbon. He's a smart man. He's not going to answer. He put, so when we lived in Texas, we bought a, um, you know, like those garage keypad things that you put on the garage keypad, like outside so you can push the button. Sorry guys, I'm jacked with my camera. Okay. It's just, it's just, it's just not exactly straight, but just roll with it. So, um, he, we bought that when we lived in Texas. And 
we couldn't get it to work with our garage door. So we packed it up and we brought it all the way to Ohio. And the other day I got it out. I found it. And I was like, oh, so I went to install it on the door. And um, well, I'll come back to this. So here's what I've got for ribbon. I'm going to use this deco mesh as like the backing. I'm going to smash it in and like make it like bubbly and and then i've got this really cute striped ribbon i've got this is like an open weave this is really really cute it adds a lot of texture we got our stars and i've got just a white ribbon so i'm gonna Joey really got to get the bigger table because this table is just not doing it for me. I'm going to move this over just a little bit and open the deco mesh. <laughs> I'm making nothing up. So I walk out and he, I have him install the keypad and I walk out and I don't even say like, Oh honey, thanks for putting that. I look at him and I go, it's not straight. You're going to have to fix that. It's not straight. And so he looks at me and he's like, you know, but I did the first thing. It's like, it's not straight. That is not straight. It wasn't straight. But we got it fixed. So, okay. I just kind of liked this like sparkly, like, see, and you can tuck these ends in a little bit. You can pull them in a little bit and then and then pull it in. I'm not sure how much we're going to use. Let's just, let's just figure it out. He's a mess. I know. He might. I know, right? He better not come down here. I know he's always like, yeah, I can't come down because I might, I might go viral. Let's start with, I would rather have too much than not enough. Let's start with about 10 inches and see what happens. Okay. So, this is going to kind of go like this in the back. This is just the base. So, don't, it's ugly right now, but we're just going to know that it's ugly and that it's good. Yeah, that's about what I did, Mary Beth, 10 inches. Okay, we're just going to know that it's ugly and we're going to roll with it. But I'm going to use this because I want my other stuff about this wide. Yeah, Joe is fun. He is. He's fun. He, But he does think that he's funny. He does think he's funny. And sometimes he's not. He is. He is. Okay. Let's just see how this works. You, yeah, he is the funniest person he knows. Aw. We are grateful for y'all. Very grateful. We love our people. Joe, if you come cracked with me, then they would know it. It would feel the love, honey. Like feel it in their hearts. We're both relatively ridiculous too. I mean, that's just the truth about us. I'm both silly. Okay. I love the weave on this. Isn't this great? No, I was telling him, Joey, we've been married for almost 15 years. Nobody thought we should get married either. Everybody thought, hey, Juanita. Everybody was like, oh, I'm not sure about Amy and Joe. And what do you know? Okay, I don't know if I'm going to use I like this, I think. We'll try and see what we think. Okay. 
Okay. I got a pipe cleaner. I'm just not sure exactly what we're going to do, but I'm going to do blue and then this. And then I'm going to put this back here. This has got like, do you see this? Sometimes you run into the ribbon where there's just like a little piece that's a little different. Just hide that. Just nobody needs to see it. Nobody will see it. Mm -hmm. I want it to be a little different. Let me see what I think about this. Yeah, I mean, I'm a little, I can be a little extra. I like a lot. Okay. This side isn't quite straight because this was like the side straight from the factory. So do you, do you know what I mean? So I'm going to trim this up just a little bit. It's where these mats come in super handy. This stuff is messy. I don't have one of those. Um, my friend Julie has one of those like heat cutting mats where it just like. Does anybody use deco mesh a lot and they have those heat cutting mats like you cut it with a, a burner on a piece of glass. Okay, so I'm gonna flip the ends and I'm gonna pull this down. I'm gonna trim this up when I'm done. Fan this out so you can see it. So once you get it, we'll see how we like this. I'm just kind of making it up as I go. I see you've been crafting like crazy to catch up, Tammy. So cute, though. So cute, everything. Okay, that's, yeah, you use a burner on glass. Like a wood burner, right? Is that it? And you just go across like a glass cutting board or something. Yeah, so Deco Mesh, um, my friend Julie from Julie's uh, Wreath Boutique. I don't know if anyone knows her, but she and I are, there's a, we're good friends. She was one of the girls that was in, I was supposed to meet up with in Arkansas this past few days, but I couldn't go. And so, um, yeah, we're good friends, Mary Beth. Um, she does a lot of, of Deco Mesh. So she, um, Jennifer from Canvas Sign Designs. Um, I have another friend, not not Juanita Urban, another Juanita. Tara from um, New Consider the Fields Boutique. Rachel owns Macy K Boutique. This is gonna look cute when I get it all trimmed up. Um. And then Shenda from Sharp Designs. Shaylin owns um, a place called the Tea Crate in Arkansas. And I know I'm forgetting somebody. Angie from Shabby Chic Vintage Chicks. We're all like on a little boxer channel together. I'm going to cover this up in a minute. Okay, she's in, um, oh my gosh. I'll think of it, Sonia. I don't use enough deco mesh that I've gotten one yet. Um, I'm going to try the blunt cut this time. But um, It just kind of seals it so that it doesn't, you know, fray. Yeah, they'll come at some point. We'll we'll get them up here. I'll get Joe to go to the hotel with the boys or something. 
we'll get them up here, Gail. Um, Shaylin lives in. Oh, I can't think of where she lives. That's okay. I'm sure there's a more efficient. So these scissors, yeah, these scissors are great. They actually, I bought them from. So a long time ago, when I made a lot of door hangers, I was in um, Damon Oates's. He has like a wreath maker subscription box. And his ribbon is so amazing. And it's um, the ribbon in those boxes. If you make a lot of door hangers, it's really great ribbon. And so I would... And it's also not something that you can find everywhere. You know what I mean? It's 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 super high quality, and it's not something that you can just pick up at um, Michaels or Amazon or whatever. It's just really great stuff. And so those scissors came in one of the boxes. I don't make door hangers. I don't make them like I used to all the time, obviously. But um, I don't sell them finished anymore. But these came in the box. He still sells them. I think you can still get them. Sometimes he'll stock them. And they are. Joe did pick them up the other day. And he cut something that was not ribbon. And he did get a little talking to. Because y'all know. These are... I, I, don't, I have no idea. They're great scissors. But, you know, you can get a pair of Fiskars. The other thing that's really great for cutting ribbon is this. Um, it's, a, it's a fabric wheel. And it just gives it a super cut straight. A super straight cut, see? And so, I mean, usually you use like a guide. But if you can follow a straight line with it when you're cutting and not roll off to the side, well, mm, it gets a really nice straight cut. It's, it's hard to do when it's already attached to the bow with that. But that's also a really great tool. There's a pair of scissors out there while we're talking about scissors. Does anybody have those scissors that the adhesive doesn't stick to them? Do you know what I'm talking about? I've been wanting to buy them for like when I'm cutting things that have sticky backing, like your vinyl. It doesn't stick to them. I just have got to have a good enough excuse to like buy another pair of scissors. We'll see how this looks here in a minute. This is too long. I can't believe I can't remember where Shaylin lives. I feel like it starts with a B. Batesville. That's where the tea crate is. It's in Batesville. I almost screamed that really loudly. Like you guys couldn't hear me. I know, Sonia, I think you're right about you can never have too many scissors. But the other thing is, like, I've got to get this space organized before I bring anything else in here. Like, I cannot. It's, it's so bad right now. So we moved everything. It was out, out in the other room. And then we put the, my laser over there. And it's just too darn, it's just too big for me to, like, have a table, a work table in there. So we moved back here. And I still don't have it organized. And I'll probably be probably not be happy with it until I get it organized. This looks really cute. So this is just a really simple bow. Like for you guys, it's not like a loop bow where you put it on the bow maker and you make all the loops or anything like that, but it's a really simple way. And the thing when you make these kinds of bows, you just, I didn't even dovetail the ends. Um, it's a very, it's like the most simple bow you can make really. You just, cinch it in the middle you want the edges both sides to be about the same and it's not going to look exactly the way you want it to look until you get it on the door hanger but 
you can pull these out, you know, where you want them, but it's just the most important thing is that the, the, the ribbons need to be about the same length. It's okay if the ones in the back are a little longer. The other thing for me, I, I, I like the deco mesh, right? But I don't want it to be for me so long that the ribbon, because when you hang it, watch. So see when you push it down, it just kind of peeks out in the back. And that's what I want. I don't want my ribbon to be so short that I see all the deco mesh. I just have it back there as a, like a, you guys may feel differently about it. You may be like, no, I want it shorter. If you want it shorter, cut it shorter. But this is the way that, because I think that the deco mesh is like an accent, not a focal piece. The focal piece should be the pieces on top. Just my personal opinion. And then this needs to be hidden. You can hide this a couple different ways. Um, you could fold a ribbon and put it on top. But I just kind of, so once I get this, because I'm going to staple this onto my um, onto my door hanger when I get it sanded down. So I'm going to cut this off. I just kind of cut this off in the back and then I'll, I'll just staple it right down. And then I'm going to get this out of the way. And then I'm just going to wrap the middle. So you could tie something in the middle. You could whatever. But I'm just going to wrap this with this jute because it matches this ribbon. And it's going to tie it in really well. And then you don't need to worry about that. Okay. And we're going to get the Sure Bonder cordless glue gun. Kim Dees is on the way. She wanted my one in the group last week. Uh, when we had our new member welcome, Kim D11. So fun. I don't have my little finger thing, and I don't want to like get in trouble with the crafting police for putting my finger down there and burning it. The shirt bonder glue gun is amazing. It is amazing. So I just um, wrap this um, usually an even or an odd number of times because that's what looks best. Like people like to look at like threes, five, sevens, nines, instead of twos, four, sixes, and eights. Does that make sense? Like I have five, one, two, I have five different kinds of ribbon. Like, I don't like to put four kinds. I have five. So five different. The Sure Bonder is on your wish list, girl. Maybe a one. I do really want to give everyone one. Like, if I, I seriously, be like, you get a, I, I seriously want to just be like, you get a glue gun and you get a glue gun. Because it is just my, it's like one of my very favorite things in the whole world. Okay, so there is our ribbon. I mean, our bow. How cute is that? I thought about putting beads hanging down from the middle, but I think it's too much. So I think that my E should be dry. It hasn't been sanded yet, so it doesn't look exactly the same as the rest. Let's just sand it. Good gosh, it's late. Let's just go for it. I like the bow. I like, I like, I like how it turned out. Okay. So hypothetically, once I get this, the back sanded down the way I like it. See this? You want it to fill up the space. See how that fills up the space really nicely? And then I'll legitimately, I'll staple it down. I'll hot glue and staple it. And then look how cute that is. And it kind of fills up. I'll okay, put it up a little higher. And then once it's on here, and, and I have the... So here's the steps um, I'll take to finish it. I'll take everything off. I'm going to let it sit overnight. And then I'll sand this whole thing down. And then I'll probably go back with some decor wax and age it a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to glue the letters on. 
And because it's wood and it's going to hang on the door, guys, when you're doing a door hanger, you want to either use a combination of Loctite and the spray glue or E600 and the spray glue. The spray glue alone will not, because wood is a natural product. And when you hang it on your front door and it gets hot, cold, hot, cold, sunshine, sunshine, that wood expands, contracts a little bit, and eventually it pops off. And it's not a problem. Like it's a natural product. You just glue it back on. But if you use like the E600 or the Loctite in combination with this and, you know, Loctite just a little bit, you're going to get a better result. Okay. And then, and then I probably would put the stars kind of, mm, I'll lay it out, put the, like this on here, lay it out, figure out exactly where I want my stars. Cause I might instead do, I don't know, fill in the empty spaces. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Let's see. And you guys can't see everything. Cause I'm kind of thinking something like this and then put this here. Mm -hmm. And then put this up high enough. Right. And then kind of on the side, not in the middle, but before I put the bow on, I, I attach my hanger and it's usually thicker jute than this. So do we have someone new? Oh, Hey, we have a new, another new friend. We've had lots of new friends lately. Hey, Linda. So glad you're here. We're just finishing up a door hanger. I'm telling them how I'm going to finish it tomorrow because I want to sand this down. I am fussy and I want to sand this down completely before I, um, Hold on, I'm going to take my stop. I'm going to stop my extra camera and see if I can. Okay. I'm going to sand it down before I, um, with my electric sander, because it really needs to be sanded down really well. And I don't just don't want to mess it up. But this is, do you see this? This is what I use a lot of times for my hangers. And I tie like a knot here. And then I put the staple above the knot so it doesn't pull through. Yes, I could put a star in the middle of the bow. I agree that that could happen. It will, let's see. Let's see. That could. And then I would have an, an odd number of stars, though. Even number of stars down here. But see, I don't have it glued down, so I'm just going to put an angle. But look how cute this is going to be. I could also put one here, which might be what I do. And then it will triangulate and yeah, that's probably what I'll do. You see? Cute, cute, cute. So I will take a picture and, sh and hang it up tomorrow so y'all can see it. So yeah, it's really cute. I love how it turned out. So y'all have a great rest of your night. Thank you for hanging out and crafting with me. Oh, names, names, names. This is an 18 inch round, Kim H. Kim H is asking what, what size is this round? It's, um, it's an 18 inch round. It's a good size for a front door. So it's a good size for a front door. And it's shiplap. Yes, I'm picking names. Yes. Okay, let me pick some names. It's past my bedtime too. Kim C. I pick five names. Some of y'all in here twice. I need a P. I've got to send the happy mail out. Timmy W. Woohoo. Tammy, I did not cut the round. I ordered it in bulk. When my big laser is fully functional, we're almost there. I'll be able to cut these. Um, but I order them and I before I had to buy them in bulk from um <sighs> I bought them in bulk from a guy on Etsy. I can't think of his name right now. Nate Co. Official. Nate. N-A-T-E-C-O. Official. Something like that. Um, oh, we have another newbie. Donna. Put you in the jar, my friend. 
Ghana and, oh, and Montezer Homes. So the jar. Um, the jar is called the Joyful Jar because I have the Joyful Crafting Club. And at the end of the month, I pick a couple names. This month, I'm picking three because I have three things that I picked special to share this month. One is a garden flag I designed that matches some stuff that we've made around here lately. And then a couple other ones that I'm going to send for Happy Meal are the gumball machines filled with something for my shop that you can paint. So um, the end of the month, the end of the month. So pretty soon. Uh, Dana. Dana. Oh, Cindy. Cindy Peterson, Go House, and then Dana Taylor. That's five. So usually it's five to eight business days. Um, is where it is right now. This is not, this is, I just, this is the first time I made this. This is not in my shop. Um, I didn't even really think about that. Is that bad? I was thinking I needed something for my door. If people, if this is something you want with the ribbon, which ribbon do I have? I don't have a lot of this red ribbon. Send me a DM and let me know and I'll tell you what I think if I can get it. Um, done. Um, my shop is on, it's amyanart.com. I do wood cutouts. Um, where's Dana? Dana, you're going in the jar. So yeah. Shoot me a message and let me know. I don't even have this in my shop. I just, um, I just, the other day when I realized I sold all of my 4th of July door hangers and I needed to make one. <laughs> so I grabbed this file from Creative Fabrica and I was like, do you guys like this? Do you think it's cute? And they said, yes, we really do. And I was like, okay, let's make it. That's kind of how this happened. So, um, Thank you, Juanita. So if you do, let me know. I'll probably put it up in the shop. I don't know how much. I've got to figure out how much ribbon I have. I don't think you'll be able to make it before the 4th. It would be like, um, but you could have it up for Labor Day. Um, I will probably put it up just so that it's there next year, too. Um, cause if not, I'll forget. And then I'll be like, oh yeah, I did make that. Somebody will ask him. Like, oh yeah, I did. So anyway, yes, yes, yes. I have to cry for myself too. Congratulations. Welcome to all the new ladies. Come back Friday night. We'll be crafting again. Quite possibly another door hanger because so let me back up for one shake and then I'll go. So generally everything's kind of cut to order because I don't know what, I, um, and if I have something that's selling really well, I make a ton of it. Um, but generally it's cut to order. So you order it and I cut it. I do have like some of the firecracker gumball sitting. Um, yeah, I have a bunch of stuff going out tomorrow too. Um, and it depends when you ordered it, if it, it goes with your, and if you're concerned, shoot me a message and let me know. It's five, usually five to eight business days. It says that across the top of my site. Um, it says like, on, um, you know, shipping's typically five to eight business days. So um, if you want me to check on it or give you an ETA, like just, shoot me a DM or, um, email me totally happy to, to look at it. Um, and it just depends too. like, sometimes I've got stuff and I just can grab it and, and ship it out. And sometimes if it's something that's 
not like if it's a Christmas or Halloween or something that's in, that I don't have a lot of right now, then I have to go cut it. Yeah, no, I'm happy to look for you. Absolutely. Always happy to check. Um, so we, we hope that that gets a little faster when the, the second laser is up and running. So we have two at a time. So um, thank you guys again for hanging out with me. I hope you have an awesome night and um, I'll see y'all Friday for sure. Mwah. Sorry, Kim, I didn't mean to do that. Good night and um, have a great evening. Sweet dreams, y'all.